recap, we just watched Pinocchio. Yay. Yeah. What do we think of Pinocchio? Uh, Jiminy Cricket is a terrible conscience. The worst. We changed one of the rules from every time <laughs> Jiminy Cricket gets ignored to uh, every time he's the worst conscience ever. Yeah, because we remembered it wrong. Totally. <laughs> I'm still wondering how many days actually passed with, between like when Pinocchio left his dad and when they found each other again because it seemed in Pinocchio's timeline like two days but in Geppetto's timeline it seemed a lot longer. Yeah, because there were like spider webs and shit in his in his house. Yeah. Um D doesn't fall, it doesn't match up. Also Cleo totally should have joined the ocean fish. Yeah. How how did she end up <laughs> with them at the end? Get um, a pet sitter. Who was that a kid's movie? <laughs> I really don't know. Who thought that would be a kid's movie? And it's based on a book, right? Sure. It's like, who wrote that book? And who how did they think that that was who wrote that a, book? <laughs> a children's book? Because all of them donkeys, boys yeah. turning into donkeys on Pleasure Island, there's while they're be, smoking is, and drinking. And, what nah. is the... Uh, Well, like, origin of that. Like, I wonder what they were, what their message was supposed to be about that, uh, whole turn little boys into donkeys thing. Well, yeah, I'm sure it was, like, don't do drugs, kids! <laughs> They'll turn into a donkey. Yeah, don't smoke, don't drink. Clearly, or don't drink. Donkey. Don't drink, guys, or you'll turn into this. <laughs> it is a book. Good. I thought so. I mean, it started with a storybook on the um, Disney, so it's got to be a book, right? Uh, it's a novel for children by Italian author Carlo Cavalli. Uh, so it's Italian, so that's why it's all scary. <laughs> Italians are scary, kids. Uh, from 1883. Oh, yeah. It's about the mischievous adventures of an animated marionette named Pinocchio and his father, a poor woodcarver named Geppetto. It is considered a cannot can I hate this word, canonical, <laughs> canonical piece of children's literature and has inspired hundreds of new editions, stage plays, merchandising, and movies such as Walt Disney's iconic animated version. What? Walt well, Disney? Has ideas a such as Liar's Long Nose. It's a commonplace idea. Apparently. Anyway. So I feel like it's one of those, like, everyman type things where they're like, Oh, kids, learn lessons, be moral, <coughs> or you'll be an ass. Yep. Listen to your conscience even when it's a terrible one. But when it threatens to quit and then walks away and then it's like, Wait, what? He's in trouble? Oh, he's happy without me. I guess I'll just quit even though he's in trouble. Also, parents... Tell your kids how to socialize. Tell your kids not to uh, fraternize with the um, with the fox and the cat, the only yeah. animals who are humanized in this entire world. Especially when that your child happens to be a marionette that just came to life. A day old. <laughs> when your kid's a day old, don't he send him to school. Know what's going on. Take him to school. Walk that kid to Pick school. Pick him up from school. <laughs> or at least tell him what time he should be home. Yeah. Also, what happened to that supper? No one ate that supper. No one ate it. It just what left to rot. And then they were starving. They should have eaten supper before they left on their journey to find Pinocchio. Mm -hmm. That's the real lesson. <laughs> That's the, more, the real moral of Pinocchio is that they should have eaten. No, the real food. moral is don't be an actor. Stay in school and don't be an actor because you're... I'd rather be smart than be an actor. <laughs> yep, yep. Don't go join the theater, folks. Go to school. Go to school. <laughs> All right. Love that little Pinocchio. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>